Welcome to Flashpoint Friday, a weekly series where I select one game at random from Flashpoint's archives and give it a try. And maybe, just maybe, the game might actually be good. Hello everyone, welcome back to Flashpoint Friday. And this week we have, I'm not sure if it's a game yet or not, but in any case it's put on by PBS Kids, as you can see in the corner here. And this is called Jaker's Storybook. And some people might recognize this as being from the children's series Jaker's The Adventures of Piggly Winks, which was a series that I believe was set in Ireland, featured some talking talking barnyard animals and such with here. Um, I know that my mom sometimes watches these videos, and she'll probably get a kick out of seeing this because she actually watched this show for a short while. Now, this was after I had grown up and moved out, but but she kind of keeps an ear out, or she kind of keeps tabs on what's going on still with children's programming, and she was tickled by its presentation. And I remember it was, she still had a VCR at that point, and she recorded a couple episodes off of, off of television and showed them to me one time when I dropped by to visit. And it was fairly cute, you know. Uh, so we'll All go. All night long. Okay, so we got uh, voice acting with this. Uh, clicking on the characters themselves doesn't seem to do anything. All night long. Pie but mousing over these pictures gives you a bit of a voiceover, and this Picture is perfect. This is probably, I guess, maybe different stories you can pick from, and it does look the like you can click on these. Salmon of knowledge. <laughs> salmon of knowledge. Okay. All night so we got long. all night pie long filling. pie Picture filling. Picture perfect. perfect. The salmon, or salmon of, knowledge. of knowledge. You know, I'm intrigued by salmon of knowledge. What could that possibly mean? I think we're gonna go with this one. I might just play one of the storybooks, depending on how long it is, but we'll see. Okay. Very crisp. The salmon of knowledge. Crisp turning of pages here. Piggly's teacher told the class that there would be a big test on Monday. Fernie and Dannon decided to spend their weekend studying. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, it's basically kind of a read-along, I guess, with this. And the narrator, Grandpa Pig here, presumably, um, it's fairly slow, but keep in mind, this is made for young children, and if they're learning to read, it's probably best to keep things slow for them. So we'll just go on to the next page. But Piggly did not think he had to study. Uh-oh. He was going to catch. The salmon of knowledge. Okay. <laughs> it was a magical fish that knew everything in the whole world. All right, then. And I assume these illustrations are probably stills taken from... This is, this is probably adaptations of certain episodes of the series. This is probably stills taken from the episode in question that's been adapted into storybook form Piggy here. He went to the pond and caught a fish. He was excited. Piggly was sure that this fish was the magical salmon. All right. I'm not sure, though. I mean, what are the odds of just randomly picking that one fish, right? Now Piggly had the smartest fish in the whole world. Since the fish would help him with the test, Piggly could play all weekend. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> On Monday, Piggly brought his smart salmon to school. During the test, the schoolroom was very quiet. Everyone was trying their very best to get a good grade. I seem to remember that this character here, as a quick aside, I think he's meant to be a badger, I think, and he's kind of like the school bully, I think, based on what I remember. Don't know if that'll factor into this or not. Fernie and Dannon were very happy when they finished. They had taken the time to study, so 
They knew the answers to every question. All right. Good on Fernie and Dannon. But Pigley was not so happy. He did not know any of the answers. His fish did not know any of the answers either. I mean, to be fair, they are doing multiplication and division, and math is not exactly my strong suit. I'm not sure if I would even get the division answers right anymore. <laughs> this is, uh, so yeah, but we'll see when how he, how he fares. Finally finished. Oh, no. <laughs> he got every question wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Hornsby Jeez. had never seen such a terrible test. Oh, man. Pigley took his fish back to the pond. It was not the salmon of knowledge. But the fish did teach Pigley that the only way to get a good grade is to study. Alrighty. Uh, okay. And it just ends. Okay. <laughs> I was... Partly expecting there to be like another page saying that I don't know the teacher allowed them allowed him to retake it or something or maybe like on the next test Piggly did study and aced it or something but nope well I I guess you know I, it does teach a pretty good lesson though I mean and there is that saying sometimes failure is the greatest teacher of all right so all night long pie oh okay so these bookmarks will take you to other salmon stories all pick okay. Pie okay, thing. all right. All right, then. So that was Jaker's Storybook, a uh, series of what looks like adaptations of the children's show Jaker's The Adventures of Piggly Winks. And obviously it's meant for young children who are learning to read, who are fans of the show. And, you know, probably if you were to sat, if you were to sit down with a young child nowadays and and flip through the books here, even if they're not from even if they're not familiar with the show, they might get something out of it. So, yeah, I would say it's pretty good for an edutainment game for young children. The narrator's got a the the, the narrator's got a pretty good voice for this sort of thing. So, yeah, for that demographic, it's probably probably pretty good. Those of us who have a firm grasp on how to read and such and maybe not and maybe aren't maybe aren't aren't, in, aren't into children's programming so much anymore might not get very much out of it but there you go so thank you so much for tuning into this episode of flashpoint friday and take care everyone <laughs>